What's going on people in YouTube land? Kimchi Chris here and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's brand new video where we're talking about an amazing, awesome sounding product that is coming out super, super soon and I just wanted to let you guys know about it. We're talking about the vinyl reissue release of the Eric Carr solo record, Rockology. That's right, on Saturday, October 12, 2019 at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, of course, the Eric Carr Rockology releases coming out from the Rockologist. Yes, how many more times can we say rock and roll in the description of this? Because it's a rock and roll record called Rockology from the Rockologist, ready to rock your world inside and out. So this record has been out for a really long time on CD. We got the uh, CD version of it right there. Everybody has it that wants it probably at this point. I don't know if it's in print or out of print, I don't know, but uh, it's a nice release of some demos and unfinished songs that they put together into a record that's a pretty cool collectible for any Eric Carr fan. We're not going to sit here and review the entire record, but uh, you know, it's out there on CD, available if you really want to hear it right now, but uh, this is all about the vinyl re-release, and this is not something I ever would have thought would have been put out on vinyl or even just put out again in general. This seemed like something that was lost in the sands of time with all those great, you know, KISS-related releases that we just don't really think we're ever going to hear about again. But then again, with a Bruce Kulick solo record being available on vinyl as well as the Eric Singer project, this really shouldn't be too much of a surprise. It's just a really cool one nonetheless. And, uh, you know, with it coming out from the Rockologist, you know it's going to be done well. They've been starting to make a name for themselves in the KISS community, putting out these limited edition, super deluxe versions of solo Ace records as well as that Bruce one. And this will fit really well in that collection. If you're buying all the stuff they're putting out, you're going to get this as well. We know you want it. So just go ahead, send them your money right now, even though it's not on sale, depending when you watch this video, but we know you're going to get this thing. And of course, since it is a KISS product, there's got to be multiple versions of it, multiple collector's editions, because KISS fans will buy every version out there, and then, you know, the ones that don't buy every version will get mad that there are multiple versions, but you don't have to buy them all, but you can if you want. Uh, with that being said, nonetheless, they are multiple versions out there. Uh, let's just take a look at some of them. So you have the standard version, the one that most people will probably get. It's limited to 500 copies. I feel that's a sizable number that anybody can get it that really wants it, but it won't flood the market on it. Uh, this will be $28.99, a very affordable price uh, for vinyl in 2019, I would say, especially a special one like this. Uh, it will be on orange vinyl. That's uh, pretty fun. And uh, it will have a four-page booklet of liner notes, photos, things of that nature. It will have a hype sticker, a merchandise sheet to get more money from you, I'm sure. And uh, it will come with a Rockheads collector's card. If you don't remember, that's the comic series Eric was working on. So a lot of bang for your buck in that price point. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, that's probably the one I'm going to get in all honesty. But then you have the Rock Relics version. That's right. You have the Rock Relics version coming out from the Rockologist of the Rockology record from the rock and roll musician Eric Carr. And what you get with these, there's two versions of them. There's going to be an orange version as well as a black and silver Starburst vinyl version. And uh, they'll come with some really cool stuff, just like the other special editions from Rockologist. They will have a custom Obi strip, if you don't know what that is. It's kind of that thing on the side of records. It's on Japanese records a lot. It's really cool. And uh, with that, you will also get a custom hype sticker. You still get that same book as well. And then, depending on the version you get, you get a piece of Eric Carr's clothing or a piece of a drumstick that he played with in KISS. And these, of course, are authentic. Uh, and, you know, his sister, Eric's sister, that is, and Bruce Gulick are the people doing that. And uh, you can read the whole thing. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you because it's, it's on their page. Just go check out the Rockologist page. Uh, but there'll be 250 of both of these. So, again, I think that's a good number where you won't flood the market. But anyone that really, really wants one should be able to get one. They aren't limiting these things to, like, 50, which is wonderful. 250, I think, is a very healthy healthy number on these. Though it does make me wonder how small that piece of clothing is going to be with there being 250 of these and same with the drumsticks but uh, you know I'm sure it'll be like that much. It'll be like those relics that they used to put in trading cards I'm sure that were pieces of people's clothing and stuff. There were some Kiss ones of those where you could get like a piece of jeans cod piece for some reason and it was in a trading card so it was, it was tiny. It was, it was a tiny little thing and I'm sure these are going to follow suit and form out of that. So a pretty cool thing and uh, these will be, where's the price on these? I think I remember it here. Uh, $79.99 each. That's right. $79.99 each if you want to get some pieces of Eric's clothes or his drumsticks. Uh, so a still of a dill or a dill of a still, you pick. But nonetheless, uh, that is an option that you will have out there. And then, of course, there's the ultimate version, the ultimate combo version, the combo breaker that 
is $179.99 and uh, will only be for sale for the first 24 hours of the pre-sale on October 12th and uh, there will be 50 of them available and it will be a combo of all three versions of it and it does come with some extras here it comes with uh, 8x10 photo, it comes with a tote bag to put your stuff in, some other things, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. $179.99, you know, not too bad of a price if you are already planning on getting all the stuff. You might as well get that version and get the bonus goodies there. And uh, if they don't sell all 50 in that time period, they're gonna break the sets up and put them up for individual sale as well. And that about does it for all the different versions that you can get of this release. And again, I think this is such a cool, unique release that KISS fans are really going to enjoy. Rockologist put out great quality stuff. I have not been able to purchase all of their records, unfortunately. I did get the pretty much cheapest version of the Ace Bronx Boy 12-inch single because I wanted to get something from them, and some of their stuff is a little bit out of my price point sometimes, but they do put out really good quality stuff for the more high-end collector of vinyl, and this time, again, they have the more affordable version that everyone will be able to get, as well as the more pricey ones that really are not too terrible on pricing. Uh, for what you get, I think they're pretty unique and pretty cool items uh, to add into your collection. But uh, with all that being said, I wonder if they will put out some cool stuff in the future. I'm sure they will. I mean, the floodgates seem to be opening a little bit on the type of things they could get. Just imagine if they could uh, get uh, something just completely ridiculous. I, I don't know. What if they got uh, so, uh, one for all? The Peter Chris record. What if they got one for all? I know that did come out on vinyl at some point. Uh, but what if they got that? That would be an amazing release. And uh, then you could have your trilogy of Kiss drummer vinyl releases. You'd have the Eric Singer project. Uh, you have this Eric Carr one and uh, that Peter Chris record. I suppose you could already do that with some of the other Peter Chris records, uh, Out of Control or something like that. But uh, even those would be cool to put out. What if they put out the classic Peter records? I don't know. Getting the rights for those might be a little bit harder. But uh, I don't know. I think there's a lot of cool stuff that they could put out. But uh, most importantly, what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of this release? What do you think are some cool things that the Rockologist could put out in the future? Are you going to pick this up? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscription button and hit the little alarm so you get the updates. Smash that like button while you're at it. It really, really, really helps the channel out. Once again, my name is Kimchi Chris, and I will see you guys on the next video.